it's Julia Picard and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I will be comparing my Birkin 30 here to common household items. I know the biggest question I had when I was Birkin shopping was if the Birkin 30 was the right size for me. And the way to really figure that out is I want to know how it rests against my body, if it would feel too big. And I know that people always give out these measurements and honestly, if you take a piece of paper, you can kind of get an idea but it's really hard to figure it out with just a piece of paper and some measurements. So at the time what I did is I went to a resale store, uh, Rebag, and you can see a photo here. I tried on a Birkin 25 in pink and then a Birkin 30 in purple. But I know given today's circumstances, not everyone can get to the store. So I figured we could have fun with it and I can show you guys some common household items that comparatively are around the size of my Birkin so that you guys can kind of take a look at these household items that you have already and see if that size would work for you. I have a feeling that this video is going to be either helpful or just hilarious. I don't know which it's going to be. I hope that some of these are helpful to you, but you know what? I think that's part of the fun of it. So let's get into it. I thought I would start off with this Kleenex box because it is the most true in size to the Birkin. Um, this is just something you can find at your local grocery store. It's the uh, four Kleenexes in one. They look like squares um, rather than the long rectangular ones. And honestly, if I put it here, you guys can tell that it pretty much covers the length as well as the height of the Birkin. And also, I was so shocked when I looked at the side, but the width is also very, very similar. So if I put the Kleenex here, pretty much hides the, um, the width of the bag. And then same thing here, if I put it behind the Birkin, it pretty much, the Birkin pretty much hides the um, width of the Kleenex. And what I have here is my handy dandy toolkit, which is honestly just my Birkin insert. And I have some rope that I cut out that is very similar to uh, the handle. And then um, I have some tape. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just put this on here. And you can see it pretty much hits the same way as my Birkin. They're very comparatively sized. Also equally as adorbs. Love it. if you don't have some Kleenex laying around, we're gonna move on to this box over here, which is not just to hold this toilet paper, but it's actually an Amazon box. And I feel like a lot of us are doing um, online shopping. So I'm sure a lot of you guys are getting packages just like this. So as you can see here, similar to the Kleenex, it pretty much covers the whole front of the Birkin. So this is my hands around the Birkin. You can see that it's pretty much the length and height of the Birkin. And then when it comes to width as well, very, very similar. So this is definitely a great comparison when it comes to the Birkin. And I highly recommend it um, just when comparing those different dimensions. My gold colored Birkin. It's actually custom because it has this stripe here. It's really hard to get you guys. Which do I wear? This is so perfect with my outfit, but then do I want to be like more monotone? I don't know. I think my next go-to would probably be to Bounty. So I found when comparing again to the Birkin that two rolls of Bounty were very similar in size to the Birkin. And there you guys have it, my Birkin 30, which is made of these amazing paper towels that I love. So you can see kind of Similar, not as great as the first two, but close enough. I just hope I don't get color transfer on this. That'd be the worst. So I know I've been munching on some more chips than I usually do. Height, 
um, the Birkin's actually taller. So the length we can change given is a bag of chips. So you see here, it's actually perfect that this little blue line, this difference in terms of blue to like a teal, I don't know color, greenish blue color. So what I would do is I'd actually fold this blue backwards on the line. Put this into my Birkin um, insert, so the Birkin 30 insert. And as you can see, it's kind of like the interior of the Birkin. It pretty much fits up all that space. So yeah, actually I think if you think about the width, I think you can get away with the width for this. So I do think this is a pretty good comparison. So you can see how I taped it, but honestly, it's looking pretty good. It looks like a snack to me. Okay, so next up to compare my Birkin 30, I'm gonna show you guys um, toilet paper. So if you see here, I have a bunch of toilet paper because I just went to the groceries. And as you can see, it's sort of like four rolls of toilet paper, but it's more like four and a half. But as you can see, this should technically be cut in half. I'm not gonna cut my toilet paper. If you guys are curious about length and height and didn't have access to the other items I mentioned, toilet paper um, can be used as a visual. And in terms of width, um, you can see here, the Birkin's a little bit bigger than uh, the width of the toilet paper. And then I know the one you guys have been waiting and dying to see are these bananas and how they compare to this Birkin 30 and how you can wear them, right? So first what you're gonna do is you're gonna take one off and you're just gonna eat it because you can compare Birkin 30 to bananas I just honestly knew I was going to be hungry at the end of this. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up if you found it funny or useful in whatever way. Definitely let me know in the comments below which household item was your favorite comparison to the Birkin 30. And definitely hit that subscribe button to stay tuned. I come out with luxury videos every Sunday. I just hope to see you guys next time. Bye! You guys, I think I made it because I literally have five Birkins. Like. <sighs> The fact that I have the Himalayan Birkin, oh my God, thank you.